Hi guys, hope you're all doing great. So our today's question is the two sum question on lead code. It's one of the most liked questions. And the problem states that given an array of integers return indices of the two numbers such that they add up to a specific target. You may assume that each input would have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice. For example, if the given array is 2, 7, 11, 15 and the given target is 9, then because 2 plus 7 equals to 9, which is our target number, we need to return 0 and 1, which are the respective indices of 2 and 7 in the given array. All right. So the question clearly states a lot of things. First of all, it's an unsorted array because it doesn't state anywhere that the elements are sorted in any order. Second, that there will be exactly one solution. So that means that we don't really need to worry about a lot of base cases. For example, what if there are no such elements in the array that sum up to a target, then we need to return what like should it be a 0 comma 0 or minus 1 comma minus 1 or or so on and so forth. So we don't need to worry about that because the question states it's explicitly out there. And also that we cannot use the same element twice. So it means that we have to look at each element in the array only once, right? So to be able to build an approach to problem solving with each question that we solve, there are a couple of approaches that we can use to solve any question on an array, which I believe should be a part of this. So I would request that you take a moment and have a look at these and decide for yourself what is going to be the most suitable approach to solve this question. Okay, so I think um, it's a very clear cut answer here. Um, given that the array is unsorted and we need to find a pair of numbers that is satisfying the given target condition in our case, which is it should sum up to something equal to the given target number. Um, I think the first one is a very good fit. Um, also to decide on the collection, since we need to maintain two values, like a key value pair, because we need to return the indices, we, we, we need something like a hash map where we can store the element and its corresponding index in the array so that we don't have to traverse back and see where this element was there, right? Um, so I think we have a clear answer here. And now let's start with the solution. So first things first, let's, let's just create um, what we need to return from this, right? So we'll need to be... We, we will need to be returning um, an array, right, of size 2. Okay. Uh, we also need a hash map, as just discussed. So we create that. Teacher map goes to new hash map. Okay, so the idea is that we traverse each element of the array, subtract the element that we are considering at that particular time in the loop from the target, and see if the complement exists in this hash map, right? If it does, then we have found the pair and we return the value against that complement in the hash map which will be the index of it and the current value of index that we are on. Otherwise, we just insert this element and its index in the hash map, right? So let's just write a quick, it should go to lambda of length, right? I plus plus, okay. Now, um, let's just say that complement equals to target minus nums of i. Okay, that's the current complement that we are considering. And um, 
let's say that if our hash map contains the key complement, then then great, right? Because then we have our pair. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah. So what do we do? Um, we just say that okay. Then in that case, result of zero equals hm dot get. So we are just getting the index that we had stored against it. So we just get this. Okay. And for result of one, it's clear we just need to pass it i, which is the current index. Otherwise, hoping that this would be the complement for some other number downwards in the array, what we do is we just do uh, this, right? And the key needs to be the current element and the value needs to be the index of the current element, right? Okay. And then we simply return result. Okay. Let's see if this works. Okay. Oops. I'm sorry. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, great. So that 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 is what it was expecting. Um, talking about the time complexity of this solution. Uh, so I think since we are traversing the whole array just once, the complexity time complexity is O of n. Right, and the space complexity would as well be O of n because we are taking this extra collection to store the elements of the array. So I think they're both going to be O of n, which is linear and it's great. So, right, let's also try submitting this. Okay, cool. So, um, this was it, guys. If you really like this video and you want more such videos, please like, share, and subscribe. And keep coding and take care of yourself. Thank you.